Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. This game got updated again, so a back-to-back -back update. I got a few things that I want to check out right now, so here it goes. Added a new corpse disposal method to the school. Instead of telling you exactly what it is and where to find it, I'll let you discover it yourself. I'll only give you two clues. It's outside of the school building, and you'll need a tool to access it. Added a new weapon to the school. Just like with a new corpse disposal method, I'll let you discover it yourself. And lastly, there's a new Easter egg that's been added to the game. This mode is a reference to a certain character from the the next Resident Evil game who has gained massive popularity recently. Okay, so this is about that one girl that's about like nine feet, six inches tall. She's a part-time villain, part-time NBA center. We're gonna check it out right now if it gets cool with that. You done with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! All right, so first thing we're gonna check out is the new Easter egg for all my shorties out there. So let's go to tall oh mode God. and God. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't even be surprised if these are deadly weapons. Like we could take out Ribaru with these things, you know? He just do <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, I don't even know. Should I censor these things? But not only is she tall with some big boobs, she got some moves too. So let me see what she got. Oh, okay. She got these big old things. These Slenderman things. Okay, let's see. How do we, uh, how do we fight? Ah, there you go. All right. So we just slice her up like a pizza pie. Oh, come on. Come on. Scratch his ass. Bro, scratch his ass. He's immune. But yeah, everybody, this is the new Easter egg. It's based off the Resident Evil girl who's like 9'6". Let me actually look that character up because holy crap, she got like Coke bottle figure, you know? She's oh, yeah, kind of bad, definitely though. A baddie. I think Yandere Dev was a little generous in the chest and in the waist area, but hey, you know what? I, I get it. All right, so Yandere Dev gave us two hints about the new disposal method. He said that it's outside the school building and I'm going to need a tool to access it, but I need to figure out what tool I need, so we got to find the place first. I'm still thinking about that ridiculous easter egg because baby girl had melons bro she had melons and this is it this is it. it i need to get a crowbar academy high school sewer okay so we're about to go ninja turtle on some bitches i forgot where i get a crowbar in this game is it inside of this room over here actually wait can i just go over here and get a crowbar bro there's no crowbars to be had dude where are the crowbars i don't remember seeing a crowbar hold on Am I just stupid? I think I am. Don't answer that in the comments. Don't answer that question in the comments. But hold on. I can't remember where I've seen a crowbar at. But yeah, I'm still thinking about that Easter egg. Like, those melons were serious. Like, those were something serious. Like, those were slappers. Like, knee slappers. Those shits had hang time. I'm not even kidding. That's a pipe wrench. And where is the crowbar, dude? Hold on, everybody. I feel like I'm having the biggest brain fart of all time. It's like brain diarrhea right now because I can't find the crowbar. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe it's the new weapon that Yandere Dev added to the school because, yeah, I've never seen that before. I would like to consider myself a Yandere Simulator veteran, you know? I should get a Medal of Honor for this shit. Maybe I gotta steal this shed key or something. Hold on. Let's boom bop pow this. Bop. Pow. Shawow. And Kadow. God damn it, dude! Just let me get my freaking Ninja Turtle on! One. Two, what it do? Bitch, who is you? Give me that. I'm gonna feel so weak if it's not even in here. We got shovel, axe, got rat poison, and we got a whole lot of nothing. Okay, you know where I think it is? I think it's in a room where we least suspect that the crowbar would be. Like, let me just look in here and let me, oh, scissors? Damn, you caught me. You got me in the first half, I'm not even gonna lie. Doesn't one of these delinquents have a crowbar, right? They have a crowbar. One of them does right here. Look, this guy. I just gotta fight him for it. Okay, how am I gonna do this? He has a crowbar in his inventory. That's what it was. Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? Scrap metal. That's a huge what the? Dude, I didn't realize it was gonna be this freaking long. Bro, this is the BBC of rusty metals or whatever. Here, come here. Give me that crowbar. Oh shit, here we go, here we go. All right. Uh, block that. Hit that. Kick him in the Japanese balls. Give me that crowbar. You stupid pinche puta. Here we go. All right. Bam! Got I'm the crowbar. So this is how we get a crowbar. We just gotta beat it out of somebody. All right. I mean, that's my favorite way to do it, but let's use this crowbar. Okay. There you go. Cowabunga, bitches. How do I put somebody in there? Do we just slide them in here? What the heck? Nobody's gonna fit through there. Um, all right. Let me just try to get somebody over here and let's try to throw them in there. Hey, follow me. I want to show you something cool. Okay. By the way, you're totally not going to kill me. I know you're a loner at school, but I totally trust you. Hey, what's that crowbar doing on the ground? Wait, where's the crowbar actually? Okay. So let's hit a home run. And now here we go. Whoa. Damn, we picked her up quick as shit. So we dumped the body in here. Oh, nice. I actually didn't expect to see a point of view type of thing. That's dope. But let me whack this bitch. Mm, you like that shit? All right. And then we'll pick this dude up. This four-eyed freak. And let's dump this thotty act in oh, Boom. I like this. Yandere Dev. Right, I'm going to clap it up. 
I'm actually clapping and I'm not using my hands. Look at that one out. I actually really like this sewer disposal method a lot, but how are the police gonna react when they can't even find a body? Are they actually gonna go in the sewer? I'm actually gonna see right now what the police do, so I'm gonna end the day and let's see what happens. Okay, so the police arrive at school because they actually found a bloody weapon. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. All right, so this is a very crucial disposal method. But the police find a crowbar that is stained with the blood of Sakibasu, and they found me out. Okay, I wasn't really trying to hide the fact that I was having a weapon. So two things that I want to do right now. First, I want to use this new weapon that we got over here. And two, I want to dispose of a body in the sewer while somebody is witnessing it. And I want them to try to get help from a teacher, and I want to see what the teacher says. Are they going to say that it's just a prank? Or are they automatically going to believe them that somebody's in the sewer and then call the police? Oh, what the? Oh, this girl. No! Okay, she's gonna pick this thing up. Damn it. Oh, and she's gonna tell a teacher? Hey, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. And then let's hit her. <laughs> oh! Okay, so we kind of just sliced her on some sword shit. Um, this is gonna be bad because the teacher's actually gonna come. And I need this guy to see. Hey, hey, come here. Look, look, I'm disposing the body. Okay, dump the body in there. Damn, she got caught on the freaking ladder. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man, they're definitely gonna figure her out. Okay, let's put that in there. And also, let's put this in there. There you go. Wait, what? You can only do one at a time? Damn it, stupid small trash can. Okay, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me actually put her in there too. Oh, what the? The timer automatically started. What the? That's hella random. That doesn't even make any sense. And why is the water so green? Bro, that really I is some mutant ninja turtle shit. Hold on, what the? Oh, she saw some blood. Okay. Um, we're not gonna get away with that. All right, let's try this again. But in the spirit of the new update, I'm gonna use the new tools that we have in our arsenal now. So I'm gonna put on the raincoat so I actually don't get any blood on me. And I don't think I'm gonna use that rusty piece of metal because that shit is a rusty piece of shit. I'm just kidding. Oh, I actually get noticed when I wear the raincoat? Hey, check me out, check me out. Bro, this is some fashion week type shit. Yeah, you like that? It's that new drip. Back that off. literal raincoat drip. I need the guy with the crowbar to get smack away. me up. Come here, smack me up, boy. Back smack off. me up. Come on, fight me, bro. Huh? There you me? go. Get her. Give me that Shoot freaking that. crowbar, bitch. Huh? Oh, yeah, block that. Hit that. Uh, kick that. And I'll take that, please. Thank you very much. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Okay, pick the body up. Please, look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's looking. Did he look? I think he looked. He low-key kind of looked. Okay, so what we're going to do... We're gonna hide over here. He legit on my titties saw me end her life, fool. And he saw me throw her in there, right? But let's see what he does. Bro, he's one of those guys that don't snitch, huh? He's those I won't tell anyone, I swear to God type dudes. Man, come on, bro. I thought he was gonna go to the teacher. Yeah, his ass ran away. I still smell the stink on his chair, bro. I thought he was gonna tell a teacher for sure, but I guess not. I will say that I'm loving all these updates where you can, like, get rid of the weapon and you can wash the clothes and just dispose of the bodies. I love that. Like, there's so many ways that you can get rid of a body. It's not just, like, throw it in the incinerator, activate it, and then end the day type shit. You can actually put them in the sewer. You can put them in the vat of acid. You can roll them up and put them in body bags. Like, I actually love all these disposal updates because that's one one of the big things about this game that you can do is take care of the bodies and if you can only dispose of it one way then it's gonna get boring real quick but you know what we threw the knife in the vat of acid we cleaned the bloody raincoat we dispose of the body in the sewer that guy is not gonna snitch so let me actually see what happens because he's not gonna snitch never mind the police arrive at school i saw the timer go off last second the police find mysterious blood stains but are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds i forgot about the damn blood stains the police are unable to locate any murder weapons the police question all students in the school but they can't find anything so they walk away i'm still stuck in my senpai and there you go all right let me try something else that i'm thinking about right now let me try putting a body part down there and the best way i know how is taking out jugs mcgee right here slicing this ass up and let's put these claws away pick up the leg and i can't put it in there okay jugs mcgee cannot put anything down there how about a hand how about we give this to our hand, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be here all night, everybody. All right, another thing that I want to check out is I kind of want to put somebody in a body bag, and I want to see if we can throw it down there. So I got the crowbar just chilling right over here. Girl coming around the corner real quick. Wait, where the hell? Bro, what? She didn't follow me? Oh, she cap-capped, huh? Hold on, no, you're following me. I'm sorry, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. I'm not even sure if we're safe right now. What are you talking about? All right, if you're not going to follow me... Oh, shoot! I was going to talk my shit and slap her across the face with the crowbar. But that British bandana wearing dude came down the stairs real freaking quick. Okay, so you know what? If you are not going to come to me, 
I guess I'm gonna be the one to come to you. Oh God. Okay, what am I doing right now? Everybody, I gotta figure this all out because I'm acting stupid right now. All right, let's see something real quick. Let me ask this dude to follow me, please. And we are going to put this on real quick because I don't want any evidence on that crowbar. And where'd my guy go? Bro, my guy. Oh, there's my guy. My bad. I didn't see my guy. How did I know my guy was still with me if I couldn't see my guy? All right, smack this bitch up. Nice Boom! Shot. And then we're going to put this fool in a body bag. I didn't know that we can actually fully put the person inside the body bag. But look, we can do that. Just rolling him up like a fat blunt. And then let me pick this dude up and let's see if we can throw him. We can actually dump him. Okay, trash bag and everything. Looking like a floating piece of shit in the toilet. All right, but the crowbar obviously has some evidence in it. So what we're going to do, and I told you that I love this. I love the fact that we can dispose of this in many different ways. We're going to put this in the vat of acid. Because this is actually my favorite way to dispose of a weapon. And then, we don't actually have anything on the raincoat. So do I even need to wash this? I can't actually wash it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to end the day. And nobody's going to find any body, right? Let me see. While walking around the school, a faculty member discovers a mysterious bloody weapon. What? That's Cap! The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. The only weapon we used was the crowbar. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. See? So the teachers were straight capping because they said they found a mysterious bloody weapon, but they actually didn't find shit. One more thing that I want to try in today's episode is I want to throw Osana down in the sewer, and I want to see if anybody's going to miss her besides Raiburu because nobody's going to find her. So let's see if Senpai is going to say, oh, she's missing. I have no idea where the hell she is to Amai because that cutscene is also fully animated. So let's see what kind of elimination that counts as because maybe they'll just say that she's missing or she ran away from home and she's never seen again. Hopefully this works. Let's smack that nice ass up. Shot. Okay, so we dumped the body. We got rid of the weapon. I don't actually have any blood on my uniform, so I don't think I need to wash it. So we're going to end the day and let's see what happens. Obviously, we know the teachers are going to say that they found a mysterious bloody weapon, but that's Cap on his app. So yeah, look, they can't find anything on school grounds. They can't find any murder weapons. And they question everybody, including Ayano, and they can't find anything. So let me fast forward to the end of the week, and let's see what Senpai says. Wait a minute. It says, it is 6 p.m. on Friday. Osana asks Senpai to meet her under the cherry tree behind the school. As cherry blossoms fall around them, Osana confesses her feelings for Senpai. From where? The sewer? Bro, we dumped that body long time ago. Like, that shit's been rotting already. I dumped it on Monday. It's already Friday. Ain't no freaking way, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time, but this time we're gonna try it on Friday because maybe she won't confess anything to Senpai if I do it right on the day where I dump her body because maybe she just came back to life. Maybe she just got, like, a second life or something, or, like, confessed to him as a ghoul. Or maybe she became, like, that Resident Evil lady, you know? Because that Resident Evil lady, she looks a little undead. Like, she looks a little pale in the face, but she definitely not pale in the waist, you know what I'm saying? There's definitely nothing pale about that waist, you know? She's a little thicky icky on that waist. Okay, I'm gonna stop, everybody. It's about 2 a.m. right now. It's scary hours. Anything goes. Anything I say goes. Anything hoes. Let's get freaky on a Friday night. Actually, matter of fact, we're getting freaky on a Friday afternoon. Here we go. What are you looking at, huh? What are you looking at, huh? Boom! That's what happens when you look too freaking long. God damn. Man, I just messed her face clean off. All right, dump the body. There you go. And if she confesses her love to Senpai, I swear to God, I will come down in that sewer and I won't do anything because I'm a little bitch. I know the teachers are going to be on their bullshit with the mysterious bloody weapon. Let's just see what happens. The police arrive at school and they can't find any corpses. They can't find any weapons. They question Yanchan, but nothing comes of it. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. I go on stock of my sand daddy, and it's Friday. So there's no more days after this. So let's see what happens when we go to bed. Senpai better be talking to Amai after this, right? There you go. Okay, so we did it. So maybe the last time I did it was just a glitch. But let's see how Senpai excuses Osana from his life. Let me shut up. Let me stop talking right now. Actually, I'm, I'm just kidding. Okay, let me stop right now. And by the way, like I said, this is fully animated now. No more stone faces. No more awkwardness. I mean, it is still awkward, low-key, because it's so quiet right now. And it is kind of blurry. Got to squint uh, with the shits. Excuse me. But yeah, look, fully animated. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you seem quite sad about something. Would you like to talk about it? My childhood friend, Osana. She was murdered. How do you know? I can't believe someone could do this. What? They never found the body. I miss her so much. Bro, she was on the latest episode of Unsolved Mysteries. I don't understand how we could Get out of here with that. Back to my normal life after something like this has happened. No, no, no. They never found a body, though. The police came on school grounds and oh. they never found a body. I, 
I'm so sorry to hear about that. But yeah, everybody, that is going to do it for this update of Yandere Simulator. New Easter egg, new way to dispose of bodies, and we got a new weapon. That was it. I think the weapon was like the least interesting thing of today's episode, but that sewer thing was awesome. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below, but if you want to see me do more episodes of this in the future, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!